tonight. So uh, we've passed through an era and uh, it's the only event that uh, I'm missing by being here, but I'm much happier to be here, irrespective. Now, speaking of uh, crazy people, I'll do a little bit today, talk about the world that we're living in. Unfortunately, Dambisa, as I said, uh, made us feel a little bit, uh, or made me feel some trepidation about talking about the future and what we can, what we can all do and make a contribution. But I think significantly this conversation, this conference is about what we can do and talking about what we can do to make a difference. And I think that that's something important for us as the mining industry to focus on, understanding that as an industry, if it's not grown, it's mined. And we as an industry drive around 45% of the global economy, and therefore we have a tremendous responsibility to lead, and at the same time make sure that the objectives of transformation in all of its forms, in all of those jurisdictions that we work, are delivered. In terms of the world itself, when we look at the things that have happened in the last 12 months, UK's Brexit, the US presidential elections, or closer to our turf, the surprise rebound in the iron ore demand and coal prices, the past year has kept us all on our toes. Our views on the world around us have certainly been challenged. I must say it's quite fascinating to hear discussions around globalisation and free trade when last week the President of China talked about the need for globalisation, free trade, that great champion of entrepreneurism and free trade across the world. I thought that was a defining moment at Davos. And maybe more quietly, and something that wasn't recognised, um, certainly as much as was recognised in that speech, was the speech by the Pope the week before where he talked about the importance of globalisation, free trade, in lifting the world out of poverty. His one plea that went with those first two observations was that all of us have to make sure that we don't leave people behind. And I think as an industry, when we talk about transformation and the contribution we can make, clearly we have to deliver returns to our shareholders to make sure that we're able to receive the capital required to develop our industry. But at the same time, if we can't bring our local communities along and the communities in which we serve, then at the end of the day, by definition, I don't think our